All right, so I walked around for a bit. I got some air and I got some water, and I come back and the credits are still rolling, which can only mean one thing. They listed every single person who had anything to do with this game, didn't they? Including every department, every division, every everything about Activision. Now they're giving all the different vocals and instrumentals from all these different languages and different cultures. So, what did I think about this campaign? I thought it was a really great, uh, really good way to expand upon what they already did with Black Ops 1. And I thought the, that the characters were interesting. And I especially like the fact that it's not just, you know, oh, you complete this objective, you complete that objective, and then you just, you know, the, the game basically has only one possible outcome. I like the different, the different player choice uh, mechanics that they implemented that you could possibly flesh out a bit more if you're really into it. Which, hell, who knows, maybe I might come back to this playthrough and uh, maybe do a second attempt at the campaign, you know, on easy or something, just so I can breeze through it. Mm, but I'll definitely at least, you know, consider doing that and come back and take a nice closer reanalysis of the campaign because it might be interesting to see, you know, what if I did take some of these different choices, you know, killing off different people or, you know, choosing what I did or maybe even not completing all the strike force missions. What if I failed, you know, half of them or failed some of them? You know, what happens if that... Well, I mean, obviously, I could probably take a rough stab at it. But I definitely enjoyed the fact that they, you know, placed the choice in your hands. They have the story, they have the, uh, the different variables to experiment with, and they just basically say, here you go, and just toss you right into it, which I think is really good of them. That was a really smart move on their part. And I'm also the way that you can now choose loadouts, you can basically customize how you play the campaign was really well done, in my opinion. Now, of, co of course, a couple of things I didn't like. There's some of the, well, obviously you already know what the bugs, alright? There's a part where you're changing anything during, while well, you're trying to, you know, customize said loadouts, and it freezes, which will probably be patched. But at this point, that's not something that you easily miss, okay? You have to be pretty thick not to miss that, unless it... I don't even see how you could miss that, to be honest, but... Tuh. What's this? What the... Oh, no! They're playing in a band. <laughs> Son of a bitch. They're both playing a band in hell. My, my, my mind. It draws a blank. I feel like I want to throw up. Gotta let that quarters D shit go, man. <laughs> they really are playing in hell. Where are these people? The M Shadows. So hard. <laughs> God damn it. Our fans are expecting a So do not fuck this up. That's how the end, senor. This is stupid. It's funny. I'm ready to roll, baby. He's perfectly fine. Oh, that shit? Nah, I'm just fucking crazy. <laughs> Let's go kill this thing. Hoorah, double time. That means you, Menendez. He's like the little bitch of the band. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. So this is like a really weird twist on like Guitar Hero or something. It is. It's an Activision's plug into Guitar Hero. <laughs> this reminds me of the World of Warcraft spoof they did. Does that mean that the Guitar Hero franchise is coming back? I knew they were going to use this scene. Whoa. 
It's that chick, I forget her name, Karma. It's Mason. It's all the different characters, just for one final hoedown. Oh, Reznov. <laughs> This is great. <laughs> it's it's so irrelevant. No fucking context at all. Wow. Oh, it's David. Uh huh, uh huh. You rocking now, Menendez? Cordis DA. Oh, is that the name of their band? Wow. It's the president. <laughs> President's getting down. I got they're showing the most gruesome parts of the game in the background. Wait, this is on board the... Uh, what's that place again? The fucking hotel. That's where this is. I knew it looked familiar. The hotel we shot up. Alright, so... Then they dump you back at the start here, so... Replay mission. Missions performed through replay mission will not be saved. Okay. I see ya. What does it mean, rewind story? Oh, here we go. It allows you to replay the game from this point forward and make different choices. Okay, no, I'm not going to do it. So if I do do that, then basically what happens is, is I can go forward with a certain progress. So let's say I just wanted to replay the final mission. And then maybe say, I don't know, kill kill Raul instead of letting him live and see that then that's one re rewind or I could rewind it you know back here and yeah here are all the different uh this different spec ops ones see now they never gave me this second chance one so it's like what the like they didn't give me this when did they ever give me second chance they did not give me second chance to do that was not presented to me during the game Menendez is captured. Judgment Day. Yeah, see, it was never given to me. I completed Strike Force before Second Chance became available. So because of that, what was her name? Karma couldn't freaking analyze the Solarium Worm, I guess. So there's a whole, a whole bunch of different ways. Maybe I didn't get the best outcome, but I think I got one that was very satisfying for me at least. So nonetheless, it was a very fulfilling campaign and a very good experience. And I hope I can't wait to dive into the multiplayer later today. So I'll see you then.